Poetry is oxygen for me. In my country, uh, from my childhood, I start uh, writing poetry. This is very connected with uh, my language. Bengali language is the uh, sweetest language in the world. In Bangladesh, I was born in uh, capital city, Dhaka. Uh, my area environment was very, very good for the literature and uh, culture. Before I came in Singapore, I was a freelance journalist. I decided to come to Singapore to earn money and support my family, make a good future. When I come here, I want to know more about uh, Singapore uh, literature arts. So I save my coffee money every day. I bought one extra time and I find where is the poem, where is the literature. Uh, in this newspaper. I did that few months, but could not find single poem, single literature item in, the, in that uh, newspaper. That I realized Singapore is a poetry-free country. So that time I find out I have to do something uh, f with my uh, fellow worker who came from Bangladesh. So luckily that time I meet some friends who love poem, who love singing. So that time we meet together every Sunday after work, uh, Sunday also we work, uh, so after work we meet there and we share our poetry. Here I am working as a quality controller, uh, interior design. I living in a worker dorm, uh, that is the uh, woodland area in Singapore. It's like we are inside the cage. <laughs> Uh, one of my one of my roommates uh, do jokes. Some people will come to our dorm if they want to know about a migrant workers' dorm life. Uh, they buy ticket and they visit the zoo. The environment is uh, unhealthy and uh, unacceptable. The scenery was very scary when the virus is spread in the dorm. Uh, one room inside, uh, they are leaving uh, 12 to 20 people. 100 plus people use one common toilet area. And this pandemic time, uh, always we hear uh, instruction uh, from Minister of Health that we have to maintain one meter distance. But in the room when you go, there are no have space to maintain one meter distance. 12 people who are leaving one small room. And every day we see uh, so many ambulances come and go, come and go. And they take the suspected COVID patient from the dorm every day. One information, uh, that is the fake information, that was uh, viral in the social media that time, uh, was who will be infected uh, COVID, so government uh, will be kill them. So actually uh, that also very scary. The day I find out that my full body is very painful and uh, afternoon I find out I cannot breathe properly. Then I go uh, to the hospital. That time uh, my wife called uh, in my phone. Then she asking me, where are you? Then when I say that I am inside the ambulance and I going to hospital, oh my God, uh, she screamed. So that was uh, very emotional. A moment, but when I go to a uh, hospital, they receive uh, me very well. That was really one good learning for me, how the doctor, nurse, how they take care of migrant workers. They take care of us as a patient. They not, not treat us that we are migrant worker or we are local. I am not fully recovered yet. Still, uh, I am going with uh, some physical uh, and uh, mental uh, problem. Hopefully, I can recover soon. How I can explain that emotional stage when we was quarantined inside the room? Some are losing their memory. Some uh, become crazy, they make noise. 
they shout each other inside the room they cannot control their emotion they shout with their family over the phone because they cannot control their emotion because of the environment this environment actually uh, very harmful for the mental health in the dorm i am a community organizer so we find out uh, we have to talk more uh, with them so we more active in the online in that time uh, when we was in a quarantine because we are doing a uh, mental health activity in the dorm uh, like yoga session also we start uh, meditation uh, and some exercise physical exercise uh, also sharing session sharing story uh, poetry reading session we are on the way to the new normal poetry helped me to come out from that uh, mental sickness tomar moto amaro mon kharap hoy প্রকৃতি ছাড়া তখন কোনো কিছুই ভালো লাগে না প্রকৃতি এক অন্যরকম জাদুর ছোঁয়া তুমি যাও সমুদ্র স্নানে কাঁধে ছিপ তুলে নদীর তীরে ফুলের বাগানে গাছের শীতল ছায়ায় আর আমি যাই যন্ত্রের প্রচণ্ড শব্দের ভেতর 